Hello to all my friends out there. So it's a joyful day because I have generated a small tomato. And I'm living off the fruits of my labors. Yesterday I made myself some tasty chamomile tea. I made myself some yummy homemade banana muffins. I used my uh, pancake mix and my egg replacer. And we will come back to that in one minute. So I'm happy. Now I want to make myself continental breakfast number six. And I want to maximize my tomato in my meal. Ooh, it's perfect. It's little, but it's a perfect tomato. Wow. I'm excited. Uh, I don't think I've ever grown anything uh, without my ex-husband's assistance. Uh, I realized he was growing everything and I was standing around in the yard. <laughs> so I basically had no clue. Yummy. Look at that. Wow, I'm excited. Okay, so now I want to make for my continental breakfast some tasty scrambled eggs using my tomatoes. I don't want to spend a lot of money. That is unnecessary. I bought my eggs at Dollar Tree. Not Dollar Tree, Walmart, 114. I'm so excited I can't talk straight. Okay, for each egg, for each egg I have about two tablespoons milk. But since I'm using evaporated milk, I want to add half water. You don't have to. Okay. This is exciting, very exciting. So what I plan on doing is just keep planting it. This is like my third or fourth at first, I tried to uh, grow the, the garden indoors, and it wasn't very successful. Uh, they started out okay. Okay, and salt. This is that hateable pepper I bought somewhere. And salt. And now I just want to put my tasty homegrown tomatoes. Well, look at that, you guys. I'm excited. Very excited. And then I have some basil, dry. It smells good. I can smell those tomatoes. Wow. It's exciting. It's exciting. <laughs> okay, so now I made banana muffins, and in place of the dry ingredients, I used my pancake mix I had in the refrigerator. I stockpile pancake mix, so if I can learn to make biscuit, I mean, um, muffins. Muffins can be expensive if you buy them out of pancake mix. That would be super duper. Okay, so I, I added the sour cream. I didn't add the baking soda because I figured that would be in the in the pancake mix. I added margarine. I added sugar. I use one egg replacer in place of my um, egg so as not to use up my eggs. I might need my eggs for something else. Um, I mashed the banana. I used the pancake mix and the baking powder and I just happened to have walnuts so I used those. So that was exciting. Okay, so now let's see if I can flip this. I think I can do it if I if I try to do it if I try to uh, make it in half. I think I'm gonna be able to flip it more successfully. Yummy! This looks good. So what all these uh, challenges are leading to is how to uh, buy food cheap to exist on very little money and if a recession hits and you have these skills in place that's going to be a good situation real good
so I had French toast with peanut butter and grape jam. Peach is tasty. Thank you, Henzo. Powdered sugar and pancake syrup. Uh, muffins in the car. They're cheaper if you make them with uh, pancake mix. Uh, number three, mint tea uh, with crescent ham and cheese. I bought the crescent at Grocery Outlet marked down. I bought dry fruit and I stuffed my dates with walnuts, rote, and powdered sugar. Um, donuts I bought at um, I bought um, at Dollar Tree. I bought like honey buns, but I made donuts with biscuit mix, fried in oil. I dropped them and rolled in powdered sugar, cinnamon sugar. I made a frugal breakfast last night: bagel with margarine, boiled egg, and juice. Now. Let's see if I can flip this. Looks like it's ready to flip. Ooh, yummy. Now, since this is a special occasion, I have really good mozzarella cheese that I bought when I was making one of Jan from New York City recipes, and I just want to slip it in the oven under broil to uh, melt that mozzarella cheese. It's practically frozen. I kept, okay, so here is my muffins. I'll have two, maybe three. No, two, I don't want to be a glutton. I'm very excited about this tomato, let me tell you. Ooh, yummy, yummy. All right, now let me taste my muffin. I sprinkle powdered sugar on the top. You would never know you use pancake mix to make this muffin, never. I will feature my homegrown tomatoes. Let's see if I can get these showing. You could use canned tomatoes to make this. You could use, I was going to use, I was going to use my Parmesan cheese. And I also, in my freezer, and I can't find it at this time, have shaved Parmesan cheese. But what I did is when I was at um, I was at Vaughn's, I bought this um, mozzarella cheese, and my mozzarella cheese is nearly frozen because I keep it very, very cold in my refrigerator. That way, I can keep my uh, food in the refrigerator for a few days. You know. Wow, my muffins are good. Now let me taste my tasty homemade. Scrambled eggs, yummy. Uh, there's, I think I have about seven tomatoes out there. So one for Misha and one for Mikey. I think I could have grown mine a bit longer, but you know, I couldn't wait. I was too excited. Yummy, look at this. Homegrown, just like Italy. <laughs> The gardening thing is one of those things, once you get the hang of it, it's very, very easy. And here's my banana muffins. So this is continental breakfast number six. Um, scrambled eggs with homegrown tomatoes, basil, and mozzarella cheese, and um, banana muffins made with, um, with pancake mix and egg replacer. Now, these are very successful. A note is you could put any kind of, uh, if you had canned fruit, if you had frozen fruit, if you had fresh fruit, you can cut it in little um, pieces to equal a, a banana or two and make yourself some tasty muffins. Um, I always go for a cinnamon apple. That would be really great, too. 
Okay, you guys, God bless you all.